Hello, ma'am. How's everything so far? Fine, thank you. Can I get you anything else? Uh, no, not right now, because I'm still waiting for somebody, so... We close in 10 minutes. You can just bring me the damn check then. Okay. Thanks. Whatever. Jonathan and I had the most romantic night ever. He bought me flowers and we ate at this amazing restaurant. It was so good. And then later when we went out dancing, oh, everything was just completely and totally perfect. It was just so romantic. Oh, I don't even know what to say. No, that's, that's really great. I'm really happy for you guys. I'm really happy he did that for you. Hey, Diana? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm not fine. What's wrong? Um, no, Dane and I are just having issues. It's, it's just the same stuff that we've been going through, so it's not, it's not anything new. Oh, God. What did he do now? What's up, Miles? Hey, Dane. What's up, man? Yeah. Hey, um, real quick, could you, uh, could you put Brooke on the phone? All right. All right. Just, just give me a second. All right. Thanks. You're a boss. Dane. Hey, baby. How are you? Hey. Hey. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Um, actually, just kind of. I don't want to talk to you, but I'm sorry I've uh, missed your calls. What's going on? I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I haven't been feeling um, a hundred percent. Um, so I was wondering if uh, I could possibly get like a like a week off. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, explain I, yourself. I know. I it takes forever to answer my calls, and now you want a week off. Look, I don't, I don't ask for much. Okay, I always do what you say. I just want one week off so I could come back feeling refreshed, you know. 
All right, sure. You call me back when you're feeling better. Okay. All right, cool. I... If he really cared for you like he claims he does, he would prove it and make time for you, you know? <sighs> I am just so tired of dealing with his shit. I am so tired of dealing with him not being there for me. And I don't know what to do. I mean, I know when we started dating that he said that his job was really demanding. Like, I don't, but I don't even know if it's his job. I have no idea. I mean, I think it's another woman. Diana, listen, you need to drop this guy. I don't understand why you're even thinking of giving him another chance. I, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe it's time for me to just say goodbye. Maybe it's time for me to just, just for me to just stop, not worry about it anymore. Hello, Diane, you still there? Hey, um, can you, can you hold on a second? He's calling me now. Yeah, hold on. Hello. Hey. Hey, babe. How are you? You know, funny thing, I was going through my old stuff. Do you remember that photo we took at the bench by the lake on our first date? I've never seen you smile that beautiful before. And even me, and I'm not even photogenic, but. All right, Diana, look. I know I fucked up royally, especially last night. I'm not the best. But I really want you to know how much you matter to me. Look, I, I quit my job. And I don't know, I've just been thinking about what really matters in life. And the reason why I bring up this picture is because I don't think I've ever felt as happy as I have holding you in my arms. I just want to go back to that spot with you. Back to happiness. <laughs> so, what do you say? Do you want to, if you're not doing anything, do you want to meet up at the lake tomorrow around noon? Sure. Fine. Diana, you're the best. And babe. Okay. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Hello? I got a little job I need to take care of. I'm gonna need a favor. What the hell do you mean you need a favor? Look, don't worry about it. Be at my place in 10 minutes. What the fuck happened? Look, I need to get to the station by noon. So you need a ride? Yeah. I told my boss I took the fuck off. And she told me to call you. 
I'll be there in five minutes. So what the fuck is so important that you need me to rush you to the station? I got a target I need to take out. I'm going to use the station so I won't chase my car. That's how you feel about it. <laughs> feel about what, the hit? Nah, work. What can you say about it? You don't get into this line of work without having a pretty damn good reason. Honestly, I don't know if that reason's good enough sometimes. You remember Ken, right? Yeah, I remember Ken. He left, right? Well, he tried to leave. Let's just say the boss had him relocated. Now I think about it, it's kind of like you. First, we were trying to take a couple days off. Then it was a whole week. Didn't take long for the boss to realize he was trying to get out the game. This ain't your nine to five, Dane. It's only two ways you leave this line of work. Handcuffs on a body bag. So let me ask you, Dane. You thinking about leaving? Hello? Did you do it? Yeah, it's taken care of. Good. Mm hmm. Now set the car on fire and bring me the body. Yeah. So I can have it chopped up. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Who is this? Who is this? Okay, okay, please, please, please don't fucking kill me, please. I need, I need to see her. I, I need to see her. Please, just don't fucking kill me, please. You can kill me afterward. I don't give a fuck. Just, just don't kill me now. Let me say goodbye, please. Get up.
late you are. I have literally been here for hours. I thought that you wanted to come here to try to work on things, to try to fix us. I'm sorry. You, you deserve better. I'm sorry? Why? Oh my god. You just don't even care. You know, I started dating you because I really liked you and I thought that you were a really genuine person. But I don't even know who you are. I don't think I've ever known who you were. With all the secrets and all the lies, I'm just, I can't do it anymore. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. Actually, was there somebody else? Oh, Diana, there never was. I don't know that there's ever gonna be. Good. 